Seth, uh, several of the offensive linemen have talked, you know, through fall camp in the spring about wanting to play a dominant, you know, physical brand of football this this fall. Uh, how would you assess how you guys have done that, and what's kind of the mindset as far as you guys making sure that that actually translates to the season? You know, I think every single offensive line in college football wants to be able to dominate, and uh, you know, we've been asked about that a lot, and. Uh, I think that's the mindset we have, and you know we're going to go out there and we're going to try to play our brand of football and uh, do what Coach Wilford talks to us about, and you know just play hard. Seth, so the big question is obviously about the quarterbacks, and Coach says it's going to see what happens during the game. Going into Texas, a lot of question marks, but how has it been back there with all three guys, and what have, what confidence level do you have regardless of who's out there to play? I think the whole room has had a lot of growth. Um, each guy has gotten a lot better, and it's been easier playing center going for each guy taking reps you know, throughout camp. So I'm glad to see the way those guys are progressing, and I think you know any guy that goes out this week is going to have a good time and play really well. You've been around a couple of years here. What's it like the, the Monday of game week? The, the first depth, first depth chart is released. Is, is it distracting? What, you know, do players notice that when it comes out? Uh, I don't know if we put a depth chart out this year, but. Uh, you know, I don't think it distracts us at all because, you know, what we put out there may not exactly be what we're going to have on the first day. I think, you know, game by game, Coach Saban's going to put the guys out there that uh, are going to have us put us in the best situation to win. So whatever that says, uh, that's what's going to be. Earlier in camp, Coach Saban said that you're bigger and stronger this year. Kind of two questions. Just where are you at from a, a weight standpoint? And do you feel that? Was that an emphasis for you this offseason? Yeah, I've been sitting at around 305. I've always wanted to, you know, coming in, I came in at like 265. So it's always been the thing from Coach Saban, you know, keep getting stronger, keep putting on weight, uh, keep putting on good weight. So that was that was where I think I took the biggest jump this year was just uh, getting in the weight room with Coach Rick and Coach Ballou and, uh, you know, getting to where I need to be. But, yeah, I'm playing around 305 right now. Seth, he plays on defense, but how have you seen Deontay Lawson become more vocal where that group is concerned? Yeah, it's been really nice seeing Deontay take the steps as a leader. And, uh, you know, he knows the playbook in and out. And uh, it's been really interesting to see how he can lead those guys and uh, put everybody in the right positions, make all the calls at the mic spot. Uh, how much uh, maturity have you seen from Caden? And how has he kind of gelled with you guys uh, since coming in, I guess, in uh, January? You know, it's a big it's a big role to come in as a freshman and uh, you know compete for a starting left tackle spot at the University of Alabama. Uh, it's a hard it's a hard thing even for older guys to do. Uh, so I've been proud of the way he's taken things in stride and um, you know he's been coachable. We've we've helped him out. He he hasn't had like a I know everything type mentality and uh, I think you know he's he's taken coaching points from everybody and uh, I'm really proud to see the way he's progressed this camp. Nick Albert. Tyler Booker was on the radio today and talked about how you guys have some type of measurement for your tongues and how that correlates to hydration for during the season. How's your tongue looking, and like, how, what does that look like, and how does that how does that help? Uh, tongue's looking great. Uh, they have these little devices that walk around, and they just you just dab it on your tongue, and it pops up a number to see if you've been hydrating or not. It's like a scale. Uh, it says hydrated, mildly dehydrated, or dehydrated. But yeah, I think uh, tongue's pretty good. Mike, <laughs> on that note, Tyler was saying that uh, apparently Eric Wolford was saying Saban hasn't taken a bathroom break in 41 years. Have you heard that story? And what's your take on that? Yeah, I don't. I don't think Coach Saban has to hydrate as much as we do. Uh, we're we're chugging water day in and day out. And it's hard if you're doing if you're doing it right. You got to go to the restroom every 30 minutes. So when we're sitting in an hour and a half meeting, and uh, Coach Saban's put a rule that can't go to the restroom. Otherwise, the position coaches are probably going to get in trouble. Nobody said that. That's what I'm assuming. Um, you know, it, it's a different ball game, you know, running around coaching than it is playing. So. Anything else for Seth? How much excitement is there just among the players about it actually finally being game week and all the talk and all the, you know, who is going to start is finally here? Um, it's been a long camp, and uh, it felt – Felt really long this year. It was a really hard camp, and um, you know I think it is going to be nice to play somebody else. Uh, it's not fun going up against Jaheim and Tim Smith and Tim Keenan every day in practice because uh, they start to they start to get to know you really well, and they start knowing your moves. If I know he's about to bull rush me, I might do a certain thing, and he knows that I'm thinking what he's thinking. So uh, it, it'll be nice to go and play against somebody that doesn't necessarily know exactly what I'm thinking every single play. 
Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thank you all.